When I was a young child, my dad loved to gamble, and uh, often when he would get his paycheck, the first thing he would do would be to go down um, and spend his evening gambling his whole paycheck away. My mother would sometimes take my sister and me to the place where he gambled. She would send us inside to have him come out. When we would go in, it would be just a smoke-filled room of men sitting around tables playing poker and uh, often seeming devastated because they were losing and determined that they were going to win and they would continue to, to play. My dad never seemed to come home with anything other than uh, uh, an empty wallet. This went on for I'm not sure how long. I was an eight-year-old child. It was devastating to my mom. She decided she could not handle it any longer, so she filed for divorce. Uh, my daddy was on the back porch hiding when my mom came home from work, and he chased her through the living room, out the front door, as she screamed and ran around the house. I followed. He shot her once, she fell, and he shot her a second time, and uh, she died. My daddy was uh, put in jail. There was a trial, and he was sentenced to life in prison. The judge, after he sentenced my daddy, awarded custody of my sister and me to our grandparents who lived in Kentucky. It was a good life, but it was a life without parents. And um, we missed our parents. Not only did our daddy lose our money, uh, but what he did through gambling cost us our mom and our dad. It's very painful to me to think that the state of Kentucky is considering expanding gambling when I realize what it cost me and what it cost my family, what it will cost families in the future. Say no to casinos in Kentucky.